Hey, this is Murtaza from Networkers Home. Welcome back again to another video of WSA. In this video, we'll be seeing uh, pack file hosting. Pack file hosting means proxy auto configuration. In the previous video, we saw explicit forwarding. We, we did some uh, configurations on our PCs, on our employee PC. We mentioned the IP address and the port number of the proxy uh, server. But that's not a scalable solution because in your production network, you don't have one or two PCs. And if you have multiple ASAs, sorry, if you have multiple WSAs in your production network, for uh, for example, if you have four WSAs in your production network, one for HTTP, one for HTTPS, one for HT FTP, whatever reasons, you, it's not a scalable solution to go on thousands of PCs and mention each and every IP address of the WSA. So for that, we are, we, there's a scalable solution and that's called pack file hosting. So we, for that, we need a pack file server. And from that pack file server, those employees, those PCs can download the script. And according to that script, they'll, gener they'll request the traffic. For example, this is my pack file server and my employee PC wants to request from so for some HTTP traffic. So what will happen is that my HTTP traffic, uh, the request will go to the pack file server and it will send uh, it will send some script to the PC and automatically uh, my PC will download a script. For that, I have to mention the IP address, the address of the pack file server only. That's it. What I have to do on the PC. So after downloading the pack file from the pack server, what will happen is that whatever is it in it is in the pack file written, it will go. To, it there will be the address of the pack file server. So for example, if, if I have two, if I assume this one as my another uh, pack file, sorry, I'll assume it as my WSA. This is another WSN. This is also my pack file server. My PC will request for some HTTP traffic. I will download some script. And in that script, I have mentioned the IP address of this WSA. So what would happen is that my traffic will go to this particular WSA and this WSA will go out on the internet. And for example, on this, admin pc i am uh, requesting https traffic so my admin pc will go on to pack file server request for the pack file script it will be automatically downloaded and for example i have used this uh, wsa for https proxy my admin pc will go to the particular uh, wsa and the traffic will go from that particular ASA, wsa to the internet out to internet so it's a scalable solution we just have to uh, we just have to uh, write the address of the pack file server and rest the pack file server do it it, it will automatically send a uh, script to those devices that request the pack file and automatically those uh, requests the http request or the https request will go to the particular wsa and that will go outside so what i'll be doing i'll be going on my employee pc this is my employee PC. The, first of all, uh, what I'll be doing, I'll go, this is my remote access of my admin PC. This is my WSA. I'll navigate to networks. I'll navigate to security services and down here you can see pack file hosting. This is pack file hosting. Click on enable and edit settings. The pack file uh, server works on the port number 9001. I'll upload my pack file with the name of packfile.pack. Remember the name, it has, it has to be exact. Pack file is capital. I'll open it and I'll upload it. It's uploaded. Now what I'll be doing, I'll select my pack file and I'll uh, keep some host name. For example, I'll keep it. Pack file server.com pack file server.com and I'll say submit. And I'll say, uh, first of all, let's, let's check the server port number. It's 9001. My pack file number, my pack file name is packfile.pack and the pack file is capital. And the host name is packfileserver.com and commit the changes. Again, commit the changes. 
Now, what I'll do, I'll go on employee PC. I'll go to the settings, internet option, connections, LAN settings. I'll use, auto, use automatic config, uh, configuration script. And I'll define the address of my pack file. Server, uh, the host name was pack file server.com and the port number was 9001 with the name of pack file dot pack. And I'll say, okay, okay, I'll cut it. Now I'll try to request for some HTTP traffic. You can see it's prompting me for the username and the password. That's admin and admin. I'll use the privilege of 15 and I'll check the IP address that has exist. Uh, the server five. You can see the IP, the translated IP address of WSA. So what has happened is that I generated some HTTP traffic from employee PC, and I had mentioned the pack file uh, server's address. So my request left from employee PC. It were it went to WSA. That is my pack file server and it downloaded a script on my employee pc and it the, my employee pc followed the, that followed that script and request and the request of http that i requested from my MP, uh, employee pc it went to the particular wsa and that particular wsa went outside on the internet to get the uh, requested http page so for example if i would uh, use this address on my admin PC, my admin PC requests the pack file from the pack file server, it will download the script and will, and the generated HTTP traffic will go to the to the particular WSA that is mentioned in the script. And that particular WSA will go out in, on the internet and request for the HTTPS or HTTP traffic that the admin PC has requested. So that's it for the video. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one.